Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Well, we're going to take a look at um, a result about Euler circuits. What is an Euler circuit? An Euler circuit is a path that goes through a graph, um, uh, an undirected graph. So we're not going to pay attention too much to um, the way the edges are already directed. We're just going to go um, make our own way through one. And such that you traverse every single edge exactly one time. Just like that. Well, that was a very simple example, but I traversed every single edge in there one time. So that's what an Euler circuit is. So there's a result which states that if a graph has every vertex having a even degree, meaning every vertex, um, touches an even number of edges in the graph, then what we got is we got that an Euler circuit exists. So we're going to prove this um, by induction. So <clears throat> first, um, well, I mean, and we're going to in, uh, induct on the number of vertices. Um, suppose, I mean, this is trivially, trivially true for just one vertex that has, I mean, has an even number of edges um, because they're just loops and um, it's very clear. So our base case is satisfied. What we really need is if it's true for, and let's suppose that this statement means that it's true for up to n vertices, um, so n and below. And uh, so if it's true up to n and below, we need to show that that's going to be true the next step up if we have n plus 1 vertices. OK, well, let's suppose that it's true um, if that this particular condition is true for up to n vertices. How do you prove it's true at the next, next spot up? OK, well, let's suppose that we have a graph that had n have a graph G and it has n plus one different vertices in it. Then what we're going to do is what if we just remove, um, what happens if we remove, uh, well, no, let's not remove, let's merge. Ah, let's take two vertices and let's merge them together. That'll create some. And not only that, I mean, every edge that hits this one, I mean, we're not going to merge edges, we're just going to merge the vertices. So we're going to combine what's happening. Since there's an even number here and an even number here, there's going to be an even number on the merge. So the merge is actually going to satisfy this condition. Since it satisfies this condition right here, we're going to have an Euler circuit. So when we merge, we all of a sudden have our Euler circuit. Well, that's amazing. OK, so we merged, and we have an Euler circuit coming in. The only question is, what happens when we unmerge so from here to there yeah like what's like what's going to happen okay so let's kind of walk through some cases of what might happen when we unmerge from this merge vertex out um, and we have some kind of boiler circuit okay so let's suppose that it merges out um, to uh, v1 and v2 all right so those are the two guys it merges to. And let's kind of see what's going to happen. I mean, um, let's see. So when we have this, I mean, what's going to happen when we have this Euler circuit um, coming through this point? Um, I mean, and this is an Euler circuit, so it really could start and end anywhere. So assuming that it starts at start and ends at this point, um, that could end up being that we start at v1 and we end at v2 or vice versa or maybe start and end it here and start and end there so we have a few different options of what of what happens i mean maybe we have a, a part in fact you know this the whole trail is going to be made up of things like that something that starts and ends here maybe something that starts and ends here and you're also going to have things um uh, that maybe start and kind of go between them. So you're going to have these basic, so the full Euler circuit when you unmerge it into this is going to, you know, be a variety of something here, here, and here. Um, okay, <clears throat> so let's think about what's happening. 
Well, actually, this picture actually shows a lot um, because because what we need is um, you take all the paths that begin and end at V1, they're gonna come in here and you're gonna have an even number of touches with this vertex just from those because we're coming in and out on those paths. Um, all right, that means we're gonna have to have an even number of touches here between. Ah, and, and likewise over here, even number. So we're gonna have an even number here, 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 here. So, that means that we can go around here and here and here. Then we can go over here, go around here, even number of times. And then when we end, we can go back here. Hey, that's a little visual. We do have an order circuit after we unmerge. Thanks for watching.